Well, good day, everybody, and welcome. Today, we're having a look at the demo for Saloon Simulator. An abandoned saloon is waiting for you to restore its former glory. Finding out that managing a saloon isn't just about crafting, dr creating drinks and meals, clean up, organize, and choose the right friends, all to become the most recognizable business in the West. All right, lovely. I can't turn the music off, so hopefully, uh, <laughs> hopefully it's, um, uh, going to be uh, relatively unflaggable. <laughs> we'll see how we go. Saloon Simulator demo. Let's get straight into it. Uh, let's start a new game. Hopefully, I, I might be able to go into the options. We'll see how we go. We'll see how we go with the music, shall we? All right, here we are. Blueberry Saloon. A dream comes true. Go to the old saloon. Uh, Cheyenne, this place is not what I imagined. Well, she's pretty good looking. She's definitely pretty good looking. Hold tab for tools. Okay, yep. Cool, cool. As 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 we would expect. We got we got ourselves a whole two dollars fifty. Two dollars fifty. Don't know what that was that dropped down there. This is it. Close the blueberry saloon. Okay, find a way to get inside. Well pff. we have any tools? We've just got our hands at the moment. Uh tear these out. Uh, to tear out, uh, press repeatedly. Okay, oh, that's an interesting mechanic. There we go. I've always wanted to have a saloon. I am a cow, a bit of a cowboy fan, so... Look at that, hey? We're in... We are here. Look at it. Check out. Check this out. Hell, what a pigsty. I was expecting the saloon to be abandoned, not devastated. Using the trash bin. When you have the trash bucket in your possession, you can collect garbage found in the saloon. Uh, the bucket's part of your inventory. The presence of garbage within the establishment discourages customers, affecting your tips and the number of guests and their reaction. If there is a large garbage that does not fit into the bucket, you need to take it into the garage. No, uh, you'll notice there. Yep, uh, cool. No worries. We can do that. Um, I am excited. I am excited. This actually looks a whole lot better than what... Uh, than what I actually pictured it to be. So, we don't have that. Maybe we need to go and buy ourselves. Oh, we need to find ourselves a bucket. Um, super, super, super excited. Uh, and and uh, excited that, um, that we're gonna have the opportunity to uh, hopefully play this soon in, uh, in, the full, uh, in the full version. We've got some cheese and some cherries. Nice. Nice, here's a bucket over here. The one with the big question mark. Let's pick up the bucket. Put in the trash. Uh, there's question marks. Oh. Okay. Ah, there we go. We've got our bucket there. Let's let's pick up. Let's uh let's pick up. Now this is all question mark stuff, so I wonder whether they no surely there wouldn't be recycling in here. There's, there's spit pots and everything. There's spit pots and everything. Put the trash in the bin. Put the trash in the bin. Put the trash in. Yep. Yeah. And once it's full, I think we've got to go out and uh, and empty it. Cool. It'd be nice if it was a uh, if the hit bot or like if the distance was was a little bit. Oh no, that's that's. Yeah. No, it's not too bad, I guess. Trash, trash. How do we know when our trash is full? Okay, so we've got 13 of, uh, 13 of, uh, uh, 25 in our bin. Got some more trash there. Yeah, she's definitely a dirty old saloon. Hopefully, we get somebody in there playing that piano at some point. That would be pretty cool. Um, yep, there's some more over here. There we go. We'll get you, you, and you. Uh, we've got three more pieces of trash to go. There's a couple over here on top of the... Oh, there's actually three over here on top of the bar. Beautiful. Nice and done. Using the broom. Select the broom from the radial menu. When you have the broom in your hands... Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We know that. We know that. Let's get stuck into it. Let's go into the radial menu. Let's pick up the broom for starters. That would probably be a good idea. All right. Let's do some sweepy sweepies, shall we? Oh yeah, just working in our saloon. 
Oh, hello. Oh, yeah. We collected nine cents then, I think. So it looks like there's expansion areas here. There's Well, there's going to be expansion areas here as we move on. Lovely. Uh, arrange tables and chairs. So we've got to keep these tables and chairs. And place them anywhere you like. Press F. Ensure uh, order. Ensure order by positioning cha chairs next to tables. Yep. The full version of the game, you'll have the freedom to customise the saloon's decor according to your preferences, allowing you to create the perfect ambience. Damn straight. Okay, cool. Let's uh, grab our hands back. Pick up the chair and throw you in there. There we go. Lovely. Pick up you. Let's throw you. Yeah, does it snap? No. Go. Lovely. The chairs. Chairs for everybody. Oh, that's kind of. Oh. You have to attach them. Okay. That makes more sense. There we go, by getting up really close to them. Oh, how exciting. There we go. <clears throat> In you go, we'll snap you to there. We'll snap you to there. Love the music. Love the music. Definitely hope that the music isn't copyright. <laughs> or otherwise, I'm going to be so peeved off. Uh, all right, lovely. Um, and oh, we've got a oh, we've got a, an upturned table here. Let's put that down here. Yep, that'll do. That'll give us four more spots for these chairs. There we go. I'm just picture my guests sitting in here playing poker, shooting the place up. Yeah, it's cowboy days. It's cowboy days. Beautiful. Okay, uh, it's shaping up just right. Uh, talk to the stranger. Well, howdy, stranger. He's whistling at me. Oh, we've got some posters. Uh, your saloon is attracting a variety of visitors. E engage in conversations with some of them to discover their reasons for visit visiting. Uh, it's an opportunity to connect with blueberry locals and passing travellers. Uh, when you stand behind the counter and select the appropriate take order icon, you can start preparing orders. In the full version of the game, you can also refuse to do so. However, refusing to serve a customer will have a negative impact on your reputation. Howdy, partner. Need a bath. Uh, right mouse button to skip. What's he saying? Uh, well, well, you've done a fine job setting up Butterfingers. I <laughs> love it. I must say, um, them, yep, my, it's my business what happens to this place. Uh, we both knew that ain't true. You've forgotten the agreement you made with the uncle. Uh, do you know this man? Uh, I know him, and I also know get mighty disappointed if we don't handle a sensitive matter right quick. There ain't no moment. There ain't a moment to lose. Right. Uh, why should I trust you? Who are you anyway? Uh, they call me W, and as long as we run the saloon, we tied to, we're tied together like tumbleweeds in a dust storm. We understand each other, Butterfingers. Be nice if this um, uh, the name's Cheyenne, and I don't think I need to listen to you. Take a bath. Uh, I know your name and Uncle knows what's going on here. He hears and sees everything. Quit wasting our time and follow me. But how? Um, I would like... I would like that they would uh, not have that on... A, not have those conversations on a timer. Um, it'd be nice to be able to read them, scroll through them at your own pace. Rather, rather than having them on timer. I've never understood... Um, them having those things on a timer. What's up here? Oh. Okay. Are you kidding me? That's a fresh corpse. <clears throat> no exaggeration with the freshness. He's been lying here for about two hours. Come on. There's nothing to admire. Help me clean them up. N no way, W. This is murder. Uh, if we get rid of the body, there won't be any talk of murder. Besides, the town doesn't have a sheriff yet. All right. Uh, what is this man doing here? Uh, he's lying dead. Do you know there's such a thing as a stupid question? Stop asking them and get to work. I saw a rag somewhere here. It'll come in handy to wipe off the blood. Right. Rag. The rag will be over here. Here we go. There'll be murder and then there'll be, uh... Yeah, there'll be murder in there. 
giving them their uh, saloons. Press C to crouch. I like the fact that you have to crouch to, to, to get down to the blood and stuff like that. That's actually pretty cool. It makes a whole lot of sense. Let's clean up all of this blood. Dude, what have you done? What have you done to upset the uncle, whoever he is? After picking up the body, you can bring it to the mortician and place it inside a coffin. Uh, he'll compensate you with fair payment for each body while offering a solution to dispose of the inconvenient evidence. <laughs> okay. Seems we might have got ourselves into something a little bit, uh, a little bit nasty. <laughs> Look at his arm flopping around. A little bit nasty here, hey? <laughs> Let's just carry a dead body across town. Nobody will notice. Nobody will notice. Well, there's somebody standing out the front here. Is she the mortician? Morticia the mortician. Howdy, ma'am. There we go. What a surprise. You're one of them after all. Uh, one of whom? Who are you talking about? I was just here to run the saloon. Uh, and ended up carting around dead bodies. This one I know is pouring drinks before you. Welcome to Blueberry. I'm Casey O'Hara. You know Casey O'Hara. They call me Cheyenne. Are you working with W? Uh, accusations like that can land you in a coffin, you know. Now listen, the deal is simple. You'll get the cut of the profit from uh, whatever I managed to find with the corpse. Clear? Sounds good to me. Uh, so that's how it is now. Uh, don't beat yourself up. As long as you're not the only the one lying in the coffin, everything's fine. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Casey. Uh, return to W waiting in the saloon. And run. It's a bit, a bit dangerous out here in the uh, in the old wild west. Here he is. Okay. Uh, done. Uh, great. I'll wait for the final act with applause. I'll fill you in on your new job when the time comes. What new job? Uh, just relax, Cheyenne. You'll hear a whistle and see me at the window on the other side of the terrace. That's the signal for you to head to the barn, understand? You, a whistle, the barn, whatever it, may, whatever it means, so be it. I guess I don't have much of a choice. Uh, you're making a good assumption. There's a chance you'll live a little longer. Longer than previous the previous owner. Uh, so Casey spilled the beans. I can't help it. The drinks were slipping right through his hands. You know that in a situation like that, I always like to get myself stone fence. Uh, are you talking about a drink or do you need a stable? Uh, I'm talking about a drink, so how how will it be, partner? Uh, my hands aren't trembling, W. Okay. Um, in, interesting. It's a sort of interesting story here. Okay, cool. Uh, let me see. Check what drink the customer has ordered. Uh, the information is displayed on top of the screen and in the bottom left corner of the form of the list will guide you through the proper steps. Get the drink, pour two ounces of whiskey, one ounce of cider, add ice, mix together with a spoon. Okay, if anything goes wrong, you can restart the whole process. Remember, use ingredients. Used ingredients will go to waste. Select the appropriate type of glass uh, from the circular menu by left clicking and drag it to the table. Then press next step or shortcut D. If the glass is empty, you can swap it without any consequences. Okay, cool. So let's see, we need a drink glass. Select a drink glass. Use the left mouse button to drag the glass to the countertop. Right, cool. Done. Next step. Uh, choose the main ingredient for the drink, which is alcohol. Take it from the circular menu. Yep. Uh, which is, uh, let's see, whiskey. We need two ounces of whiskey, right? Interesting. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, cool. Uh, next step, we need uh, some drinks require special additives like bitter or honey. This one doesn't. Press next step to see what. Yep. Okay. So we don't need that. We need cider. Finish the drink by adding the last touches. Uh, you can check if every ingredient is in place by checking your checklist. Additives. Previous step. Cider? Where's our cider? He 
Is cider the bitter? Oh no, cider's right there. Okay, cool. We need uh, one ounce of cider. Lovely. Actually, it's pretty intuitive pouring, to be honest. Uh, let's see. We need to add some ice. Uh... Ice is in. And then we need to stir it with a spoon. Uh, let's see. Uh, how do we... Oh, yeah, okay, we, 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 we keep hitting the space bar. Cool. Finished drink. That's what I needed. Uh, I'll be damned. It's good. Okay, that's uh, that camera's annoying me a little bit, the, uh, the scroll. I'm going to make more of these. I, I didn't see that. Don't worry about that. I know a reliable supplier goes by the name of Jack. I'll let him know to start making trips to Blueberry again. You'll find everything you need at this place. All right, cool. Uh, much obliged. Uh, no problem, partner. I reckon we won't be needing any more stone fences made for me. <clears throat> right. Yeah. Ever. Ple uh, pleasure to meet the new owner of the once famous Blueberry Saloon. Right. Can you go now? Thank you. I need you to go because I need to do some cleaning here, man. Uh, saloon can be open or closed during the information board located at the front right entrance. Uh, closing the saloon may be necessary at times to fill important tasks. Okay, cool. cool. Let's just give that a little bit of a uh, clean up here. Just want to clean everything up before I uh, before I open the saloon. Okay, we are done. Let's uh, let's get this thing. Let's get this show on the road. Let's get this show on the road. Sound the soundtrack is absolutely awesome. Got to wait for the trader, Jack. Uh, is there anything that needs cleaning up while we're waiting? Oh, we've got a uh, we've got a customer here. He's our first customer. Can we grab that money? Yes, we can. Can we collect this money? Yes, we can. Okay. Uh, what will it be, partner? Uh, what, a shot of whiskey. Start making the drink. We're going to need a shot glass and we are going to need some whiskey. And that's two ounces of whiskey for him. Oh, he, he, got, a, he got a little bit more. He got a little bit more. Finish that drink off. Buddy, uh, you want a shot of whiskey as well? Yep, no worries. Uh, let's start making your drink for you. Interestingly, interestingly enough uh it's it's quite satisfying the whole mechanic is quite satisfying there we go perfect uh next step next step and finish the drink off thank you buddy we got ten dollars we got ten dollars uh let's uh clean this up while we're at it i i really feel like a bartender in a uh, saloon now I really feel like a bartender. That was nine cents we got for that. That's beautiful. Uh, let's talk to this. Must be the trader. Are you the barkeep the W's talking about? Pleasure to meet you. In the flesh. So you're the decent supplier W you mentioned? Uh, w said about me. I mean, yes, yes, that's me. I'm Jack Trade, and Trade is my middle name. Uh, is that so? Well, I'm in need of some good whiskey. Can you manage to rustle up some? Are you betcha? Just tell me what you need. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, you can now order alcohol from Jack. Simply approaching the checkout counter and choose the desired liquor. Okay. The purchased items will be instantly displayed on the corresponding shelves in the full version of the game. A wide range of liquors. Yep, cool. Uh, let's go to the cash register. And we'll add uh, four bottles of whiskey couple of bottles of gin add some beer dollars worth of beer uh, a little bit of sugar syrup another couple of bitters another couple of those another couple of ciders there we go let's order so that's uh, eight dollars thirty confirm perfect oh there was f there was food and everything in there 
There was food and everything in there. Uh, let's talk to him. I already know you're going to be my favourite customer. We're going to make quite a team, making money and over fist. Uh, Jack, for now, I've got to focus on selling the first batch. Uh, you got to succeed, Jay. I mean, uh, you definitely make it. Say, uh, could you pour me something to calm my nerves? What's troubling you? Just need a little refreshment, that's all. I always had a soft spot for gin. Uh, one gin for nervous Jack coming right up. Got to keep our spirits high, right? Give Jack a glass of gin. So we need a drink glass. And we need three ounces of gin for that. So thankfully I ordered some. I like it. I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. Finish the drink. That hit the spot, I might say. Must be on my way now. No worries, mate. So, interestingly enough, I did miss out. There is uh, food, there's the kitchen, the bar, and there's decorations as well. Deer chairs, easy chairs, uh, tables, different tables. Interesting. Howdy. So I've, got to, I've got to say howdy. Uh, he wants a whiskey sour. Perfect. A whiskey sour is going in a drink glass. Yes. Now uh, we're having four ounces of whiskey. Thank you very much. Wonder how many ounces is in a bottle. Three. Four. I always miss that one. Four of that. Uh, we need a piece of. Oh shit. Do we have lemon? Yes, we do. Piece of lemon. Yep, add one piece of lemon. We need some ice, add some ice, and we need to uh, mix it together with a spoon. Excellent, finish the drink off. Thank you, buddy. Got a clap, I've got a clap for that. <laughs> whiskey sour, jeez, everybody wants a whiskey sour. Four ounces of whiskey. Up oh, there we go. Here we go. I don't know how many ounces are in a bottle. There we go. Uh, we need uh, a piece of lemon. We need a piece of ice. And we need to mix that together. There we go. <laughs> it's such a such an awesome way to do drinks. Howdy. Uh, you bloody whiskey sour as well. What's going on with you guys? Hey. What's going on with you guys? Uh, whiskey. Throw that up there. And four ounces. I don't feel as stressed... I don't feel as stressed making these as I feel making cappuccinos in, um... <laughs> making cappuccinos in, uh, Barista Simulator. Oh, mate, this is going to be absolutely awesome. Seriously. This is going to be such a good game when it comes out. Uh, yep. Beautiful. We have any cleaning to do? Make the first meal for the guest. Okay, he's still drinking his whiskey sour. Drink recipes book. Uh, whiskey straight, gin straight. Whiskey on the stone. Gin on the stone. Shot of whiskey, shot of gin. Stone fence. Mmm, whiskey sour. Alright, cool. What's this guy want? Uh, hard biscuit stew. Accept order. Okay, in addition to serving drinks, your responsibility includes providing delicious meals. Kitchen's equipped with everything you need to satisfy the hunger of any guest. Worries. Uh, grab the pot and place it on the stove. Where's our kitchen? Is our kitchen in the back? It sure is, Ollie. I hope, no, I hope nobody's going to uh, grab that, chuck it on the stove. Right there. <clears throat> if you want to cook something for your guests, you need to check the ingredients for your dish first. Do so, click the book icon. Uh, what did he want? You can see he collected recipes here. He wanted hard biscuits. Biscuit skew, yep. Track recipe. Okay, so we need, uh, yep, same, same. Add fresh beef to the pot. Uh, add two crunchy hard tacks. 
the vegetables. Okay. One and two of the... I like this. I like this so much. Wow. Uh, spice it up with cheyenne pepper, of course. <laughs> Not enough, obviously. Ah, oh, there's a little thing there. Beautiful, beautiful. Finished cooking. Uh, let's see. Get ready now. You need to apply heat to your dish. Maximize the flame by clicking enter or spacebar. All the cursor is over the green flame tile. Okay, be careful. Yep, okay. I like it. Okay, beautiful. Price 69. And we've got a uh, price for, from the combo. Uh, do we need to... Okay, so we need to put this down here, do we? And we need to grab a bowl. Oh, and we've got to stew there the whole time. Nice work. Dude. Enjoy 69 cents we get for oh, I really like that. I know that I sound really excited. It's because I am It's because I am that's actually really good Let's check our stocks Can we check our stocks? It's just a shopping list uh, We can check our stocks by looking up here 69 cents mate uh, eager to spend money, wants a stone fence. You can have a stone fence, dude. Let's start making the stone fence. The stone fence requires uh, a drink glass. Yes, it, two ounces of whiskey. Two ounces of whiskey, one ounce of cider. Okay, we went a little overboard there. Add some ice. And uh, give him a stir. Okay, uh, what do you want, sir? You want a, uh, a whiskey sour? A whiskey sour for you. Four ounces of... Uh, four ounces of... Um, of whiskey. Some lemon, some ice. Three, four, lovely. Some whiz some uh, lemon, one of those. Some ice, one of those. Spoon. Mix them all together and finish the drink. Thank you very much, sir. What do you want? You want a hard biscuit stew? Just happen to have one of those over here. Let's grab that and place him down there and fill that bowl. I love the fact that once you've made a stew, it's there. It's there. Thank you very much. 46 cents. Uh, what the hell's going on? Oh, there's a brawl. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. If it looks like that guy ate, our, ate the stew and ran, though. <laughs> Bastard. He took our money for the stew. You better <laughs> take the beaten man to the doctor. Uh, once you retrieve the body, um, you can bring it to the doctor and play. <laughs> oh my god, seriously? Where the hell's the doctor? That's the bathhouse. There's a few people that need to be going to the bathhouse. The doctor's over here. <laughs> I'd love it. I'd love this so much. This is my new favorite, my new favorite game. Welcome, uh, they call me Doc, I suppose, you can guess why, I, I, I can, they call me Cheyenne, have many patients here, uh, I specialise in removing bullets and fitting artificial teeth, can't complain, <laughs> if you find someone in and bring me, I'll patch them up and get them back to their feet, I can't pay you, but the town would be grateful, uh, and so will the people you save, I'll do my best, Doc, see you around, Cheyenne, ciao, ciao, let's get back to the bar. Nice. Uh, let's. 
What are we going to do with these hats? Let's put all the hats up here, shall we? We'll, we'll get a collection of uh, we'll get a collection of hats. Um, I'm just going to quickly clean this up, dude. I need to clean the blood off the floor. It's not it's not a good look, right? <laughs> Oh man, this is a bloody tough one to get rid of. Okay, uh, let's uh, go and grab that and serve this customer. So those guys nicked off without paying for their food. Uh, who are you? Howdy, I'm Cassidy, and I welcome you to a place where dreams come true. Is that what you say? They call me Cheyenne, and for me, the town looks deserted. Uh, it's all appearances, my friend, just appearances. Blueberry holds a hidden treasure, I can sense it. You look like a sharp young man, you must feel it too. I'm not quite sure myself. What do you do here, Cass? You seem to have quite the insight. Uh, the only real job there is, with all due respect, I'm a gold prospector and I own the local open pit mine. Uh, I didn't know Blueberry had gold. Uh, pay me a visit sometime and you can help me with the mining. I have a special machine for it. Just need to fix it up. We'll split the findings equally. 20% for you and the rest for me. <laughs> Doesn't sound entirely fair. Uh, we can work out the details later. Don't let it bother you. Now listen, could you make me a drink? A gin cocktail has been on my mind, but there's one catch. Yes? Until my machine starts producing, I won't be able to pay with money. What can you offer then? Uh, if you make a drink the way I like it, I'll have a special gift for you in the future. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. Uh, let's give it a try. Uh, in the full version of the game, you'll encounter individuals who offer you unique items instead of money. Whenever you come across such an opportunity, you can trade your drink for a special item. These special items can serve various purposes, such as aiding in completing a mission, acting as a souvenir, or becoming a unique decoration. Okay, cool. So what does he want? He wants a, uh, a gin cocktail, so we're going to need a drink glass. We're going to need two ounces of gin, thank you very much. Can't have a gin cocktail without gin. Perfect. Pouring one tablespoon of sugar syrup. Okay, one tablespoon. Two dashes of bitter. That's one dash of bitter. Two dashes of bitter. Okay, that was quite a bit, actually. Uh, more than I expected. Uh, we need a slice. We need some ice. Then we're going to need to stir it. There we go. Finish the drink off. That will be perfect, buddy. Trust me. It's like my use back. Cool. Uh, don't forget to come back for a drink. All right, lovely. Do we need? Uh, do we need to order any more alcohol, or are we okay? Go to meet W at the barn. Let's close up. Can't close up. Uh, where's W at the barn? W's at the barn, the big red thing that screams, Hey, I'm a barn. I'm a barn. Right. What do you want now? Uh, how's business going? I heard from Jack that supplies are flowing. Can't complain, but what's on your mind this time? Uh, same as always, I want to help you with your business. See that wagon over there? And the dead body? Do I even want to know about that? Uh, trust me, you do. I use this barn to dismantle, dismantle stolen carts. You can make a good profit from it. Just be careful and clean up any traces thoroughly. That's where you come in. How exactly? Uh, it's simple. I'll keep watch while you dismantle the wagon and hide the parts in the hay. If you happen to come across a treasure chest, try opening it. If there's a body inside, we've got that covered too. Ah, Casey and her irreplaceable services. Exactly, so let's get started, Cheyenne. Here's the crowbar, time to get to work. Okay, so finding uh, finding peace in is no easy task. Habit of stealing carts, and it's up to you to get rid of them without leaving a trace. Right. Cool. Oh, there's a little bit of uh, dust there. A little bit of dust there. 
So I guess we're going to hide these in the hay. Ah, oh, there, okay. Throw you in there. <laughs> oh man, seriously. I can't. Hey, money. Woohoo! Okay, that's done. Open the. Oh my god. There's money everywhere. It's cash everywhere. My god. Gotta collect all of this. Look, it's even it's even scattered around. My God, it's even scattered around in here, in amongst all of the poo. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. So it's asking me to open the chest. Well, I can't at the moment. I'm just actually collecting money, which is good. I hope I don't have customers at the bar. Where's the chest? <clears throat> oh, over here. We get any money fall in there? No, just being money, a big money scab now. Ah, oh, it's a bloody dead body. Ooh, what was that? That was a big chunk. Uh, do you remember the overzealous recruiter Hank Custer? Yeah, he's the one boasted about his reference for the old-fashioned drinks and cherry and pe piece of lemon, and claimed that criminals from Georgia to New Mexico would tremble at the mention of his name. What a despicable character he is! Uh, I had hoped. They would reassign him to the Wilderness Patrol, where perhaps Scorpion in his shoe would mark his end, but alas, fate has other plans. It seems he is destined to arrive in the remote town of Blueberry to maintain order. Uh, I urge you to assist his performance and provide him with clear instructions on how to fulfill his responsibilities upholding the state's business. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm guessing. Uh, we have, uh, W, we have a problem. According to this letter, the sheriff is on his way to town. Seems that this guy here was sent to assess the situation. Well, he won't be assessing anything now. We need to act fast and take care of the body. Time is not on our side. Uh, this will complicate our job significantly. From now on, we need to be extra cautious. <coughs> okay, so we now have a new sheriff. Gotta be mindful of his reactions. Okay, so we've got to reduce his anxiety level. Excellent. Let's just uh, duck around the uh, back of the uh, saloon here. Carrying a dead body through town with a sheriff here now is, is a little bit of a, uh, a little bit taboo. Or a little bit risky. Jump over the top of there, throw him in there. There we go. Man, you've brought changes to this town. I trust you got what it takes to deal with them. Damn straight I have. I'll be over to help you later. Uh, sound of the rail work carries many meanings. It signifies different events and opportunities within the town of uh, Blueberry. It can indi that indicate the arrival of new residents, the arrival of fresh goods in the store, or potential for additional tasks related to the town's growth. The railway is a vital connection that brings life and opportunities to the town. Okay, <clears throat> we're going to talk to the mortician. Ah, uh, the mortician. Where, where, they, where, where is the mortician? This is actually pretty good. Head to the saloon and wait for the new sheriff. I think um, well, we just talked. We just spoke to the mortician, you dick simmy. Um, to be honest, mate, I tell you, looks like there's so much involved in here. In this, so much involved in this. Here we go. That's the sheriff. Uh, barkeep, are you the reason I ended up in this here hole? Uh, I don't think so. I'm just trying to run my business. I don't get in anyone's way. Well, what's your name anyway? Cheyenne. Uh, listen, Cheyenne, my name is Hank Custer, and I'm the new sheriff in town. They sent me here because rumours reach the authorities that town is starting to thrive. And whose fault is that? You mean to say it's credit. Right, Hank? Uh, for you, it's Sheriff Custer. Uh... <laughs> 
Let me tell you this. I want to. I want there to be order here. The sooner the town is seen as peaceful, the quicker I can get a promotion. Uh, I won't interfere with the sheriff's work. You have my word. And damn well, Cheyenne. Think of me as the leader of the wolf pack. As long as you obey, you can feel safe. Now, show me what kind of drinks one can pull off here. Surprise me. Prepare a drink for the sheriff. Oh, hang on a sec. Old fashioned. Okay, he wants an old fa we We're going to do an old fashioned. Drink glass. Uh, two ounces of whiskey. I can't stop playing this. Five dashes of bitter. Five dashes of bitter, two tablespoons of sugar syrup. Uh, add a piece of lemon. Hey! No! Shit. <laughs> you know, I could throw you in jail for what you served me. Next time, the drink will be perfect. I pressed the wrong button. I double clicked. I double click, Sheriff. You understand, don't you? You know, you know computers, don't you? Ah, I assure you, Sheriff, you won't have any issues with me now he's, been, now he's peeped off at me. Very well. One more thing. Come see me once I've settled in here. I have something for you. Now it's time for me to leave. Don't stir up trouble. Goodbye. Goodbye. I have to, I have to leave. I really have to leave this here. I don't want to. I really have to leave this here. I really have to. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to stop playing. But I am going to have to stop playing, guys, because I've been going for 40 minutes now, and it was only supposed to be a 30-minute video. Dead seriously, check this one out. Check this one out. This is... This really is... Um, something to behold. It's a game that... Dead seriously, I think uh, everybody probably should be looking at. Everybody should be looking at. This is uh, Saloon Simulator. Don't forget to hit like, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Come and join me on Twitch. I don't want to stop playing, but I'm going to have to because I have too much work to do. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.